So just imagine getting hit by something that's traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. Is that going to hurt? Well, it really depends on what the something is. If a car hits you traveling 60 kilometers an hour, you're in trouble. If a cricket ball hits you traveling at 60 kilometers an hour, that's actually a pretty slow cricket ball. You'll be okay. If you go to the beach on a windy day, grains of sand are hitting you at 60 kilometers an hour. And it's just like a mild inconvenience. So what we're talking about here is momentum. So momentum is a measure of how much mass is in how much motion. And it's given by the following formula. P equals mv. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And the units for momentum are a little bit strange. Kilogram meters per second. All right, so... The best way to show you this is with our example. So let's think cricket balls. So a cricket ball weighs 163 grams and it travels at 17 meters per second. That's 60 kilometers an hour converted to meters per second. We can calculate its momentum using this formula. So the momentum is equal to the mass in kilograms. So 0.163 times the speed in meters per second. That's 2.771 kilogram meters per second second. Now, is that a lot? Again, it's just going to be a bit of a tickle if it's moving at 60 kilometers an hour, a bit of a, oh, that hurt a little bit. But if it was something different, and it was a car weighing 1,500 kilograms traveling at the same speed, its momentum would be 1,500 times 17. 25,500 kilogram meters per second. A, car, uh, a cricket ball, not so bad. A car, big problems. Now, in those previous two examples, we dealt entirely with numbers there. But remember that a velocity is a vector quantity. It's an arrow. It's speed and direction together. So we can calculate momentum as a vector as well. So we might want to find the momentum of a 6 kilogram object traveling at 3i plus 4j meters per second. So... Again, we can use our formula, momentum equals mass times velocity. Now, the mass is a scalar quantity, it's 6, but the velocity is not. The velocity is a vector, so 6 times 3i plus 4j. And we get 18i plus 24j kilogram meters per second. This is a vector, it's an arrow. It's definitely worth writing down that momentum is a vector. It's an arrow, it has direction. So we'll finish off with one more example here. Find the change in momentum of a half kilogram object if its velocity changes from five meters per second to two meters per second. Now, it's initial P, momentum, is equal to its initial mass, which is 0 0.5, times its initial velocity, which, remember, it's a vector, but we're using the magnitude of the vector here, 5. So its initial p is 2.5. Now, its um, changed p, or its new p, is equal to still the same weight, um, but the velocity has changed now, 2. Okay, so that's 1, which means that the change in momentum... is equal to the new minus the initial, which is 1 minus 2.5, negative 1.5. Now, I haven't written any units here, but obviously all of these units are kilogram meters per second, kilogram meters per second, and kilogram meters per second. This object is slowing down, but momentum tells us something about its, its mass as well. That's momentum.